All right, new day, new cup of the day. Today's map is called. Today's map is called. Today's map is called. Whisper of the Heart by Agrabu. And this is a full speeder. You can't really zoom in much. see what we have here today looked like a full speed map but uh, this is plastic actually and, uh, as not many of you will know but those of you that uh, I have played trackmania with will know that I'm not a big fan of plastic So <laughs> we'll see how this goes. So far so good. So far I'm dead. Oh, I'm not a big fan of the transition right there. Can't say I'm a big fan. But it could just be a speed problem. Okay, I don't know. I think I just took the risky way without even trying. But okay. That's the map then. That's what we've got to deal with. And you don't want to go inside because there is penalty snow. Got that. Alright, let's just have a look at the GPS. Alright, so 47.5 GPS. Okay. Okay, so you don't wanna, okay. You wanna cut across like that, okay. You just want to take it wide, okay? Should be doable, I would say. Well, let's try our best here. See what we can do. Jump a bit further than I would like there. Then you want to take this one like this to get a clean transition there, a bit wide here, Ooh, lost all, that's lost a lot, 114 less speed, I should reset but I just want to try this one, if you take it from here, if you take it a little bit wrong you clip, but the entry is a lot easier than I first thought because of the angle. Oh. I might not have enough speed because of the respawn, I need to go higher up. Alright, very difficult map to, uh, to learn. But I think when you've learned it, it could be alright to drive.
there we go. That's the jump I wanted. Let's see. Okay, we still touched a bit of the penalty, I think. Alright. Let's just respawn and try again. First of all, try and get a clean lap in. That's gonna be goal number one. Okay, let's respawn. That's not good. It's a bad line in the start. That's okay. Okay, that's not okay. Take the wrong line again. It feels more natural to me to go there for some reason. Okay. Those jumps went alright this time. Okay, we survived the transition. We survived that, and we've got a first clean lap. But we are severely off the pace. But be expected so far. Because I still feel like that one transition, I'm still hitting the penalty snow. Which is going to be costing me quite a bit of time if that proves to be true. Taking the wrong line again, but uh, make it work this time. That's a lot better lap. One point three seconds. So we will continue trying. So this shouldn't be enough. A good transition there. Oh, I clipped there. But that's the line you want, essentially, through there. High here. Okay, not the greatest transition, but we will try to work with it. I lost grip actually. Not ideal. It's not ideal line either, but we'll try to get this line better. Go high into here. It's going to be a six-tenths improvement again. OK, 
Okay. We're closing in on a good time here. It's a good transition, but I've clipped. But it still shouldn't be enough for Div 1, I think. Almost good. Yeah, it's not gonna be enough, but uh, we have more improvement potential here, so we will try. Try to push as hard as I can here. It's a very good start. A lot of speed. Okay, I went too far right there. So with a bad start, but we do have more speed. Do have a bad line here though. Which is not ideal, but I think I clipped a little bit over here. I did not, so we will respawn. We will be enough of Div 2 though, so uh, no matter what, we will be in a good division. But we don't stop pushing just because we're in Q2, as I was about to say, in Div 2. We want Div 1. Why did I lose that much? Not sure what I did horribly wrong there, but I did something very poorly, I guess. We will respawn. Three minutes left on the clock, and we don't need much of a PB, but we need a little bit. need a better start. Just need that line there. What have I done that's so good around there? We will respawn, but I don't quite understand. what it is that I've done.
And it will be div 2. Unfortunately. But there is some there's some insane speed that I have done. That I'm not quite fully understanding what it, what it is I've done. Um maybe looking back at it it'll be easy to see. Ooh. But I've got I've had ink oh my god. Stop. This is a bug that needs to be fixed. For sure. So let me have a look here. So I think I I, sp I spotted the the good lines at least. Pretty sure. At least somewhat. Yeah, they're just doing it more inside the me, essentially. But so the question is... This line... After this one... So how do I lose all my speed here? Did I just have the craziest landing? Looking back at it, I'll probably be able to tell when I'm editing. I will probably be able to tell. But now that I'm sitting here right now, I can't tell fully why. Why I wasn't as fast. But, Div 2, we will not complain. We will take it and we will hopefully have a good result today. So let's see, we have Aesox, we have Kubakris, we have Math, Ivaris Norwegian, we have Laser, we have, oh is that Bead, I think that might be just Bead, okay Sorty as well, Across, Muckduck, and the Dexter, the fake Dexter. 773 So let's see Drop a good luck, have fun in chat. And lights out and away we go. Start up immediately in 44. Got a little bit of air time there, it's not incredibly optimal. Do crash out, but it's no limbs, it's fine. But I've still got minus 29 speed. Like, what did I do on my PB to make me go that fast? You know what, let's try I want to see what the safe route looks like. If I were to drive towards the safe end, you'd obviously be going a lot faster than this. So it's probably not that much slower to go safe in. So if something goes horribly wrong, I can just turn right and it's a very easy just long straight. 
So then we start the first official knockout round. We should be fine. So 49-43. So if you don't get that good uh, on Eva with a very good time. But if you don't get that uh, transition, you will not get a good time. Which, which is slightly concerning. Just no matter how good you do the rest of the, the track, it doesn't matter if you don't have that um, transition well. So, uh, I might send it a little bit more in the earlier rounds to try and figure out if I can spot a line that is somewhat consistent for the no air time. Because I'm just assuming that just, just even landing I'm gonna respawn here. That would have been a lot of lost speed. I think actually we will not go for any experimentation this round. Just go for a uh, simple finish. As we should be fine as long as we finish. Do actually get a slightly good landing. Okay, I think we are safe. Yeah, we are. All right. That was close. That was close for sure. But uh, yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what that uh, transition is all about. So I think it's gonna be very random when we go out, but I think as long as we don't like fully crash, we should make it to at least top 16 before we start struggling with, uh, before we start struggling with the pace. Transition. We have collected, which is not great, but we survived. Actually, carried a lot of speed through there. We will go safe. And we'll see how slow the safe way is. About two seconds then. Two seconds slower, I would say. So if we have a three second or more buffer down, we could go safe in. People are in in Div 2 with 2 plus 26 seconds. Plus 26, still. And it's been like that pretty much every round, but uh, that's crazy. That just proves how difficult this map actually is. Compared to how it probably looks. So I can imagine a lot of chatting emotes 
pulling off right now in uh, one of the bigger streamers chat. But oh shit! Let's just play it safe. Should be fine. Got a one second buffer. Just gone up to two. So I want to try and I want to try the safe in again. From five point zero. Okay, so yeah, about about two seconds. If you do well with some transitions, maybe you can get it to like 1.6, 1.7. It's hard to say, really. Close here. Whoa! That air time almost sent me out of the map. Okay. That was wicked. Jesus Christ. Holy hell. <laughs> oh my lordy lord. Oh, and there is the sub 48 as well. In the same round. I was gonna say it felt weird being 9 tenths behind when I only lost like 20 speed. That's crazy from across. Or Kroos. I don't know how you say his name, to be honest. There's a... I mean, the Germans say Akrose. And then you have... People talking English saying Akrose. And he is English, I would imagine. Oh, well, I don't know if he's English, but he's from... The Great Britain. But anyways... Top 32 now. Start. It's a good start for my standards, but uh, doesn't really matter. That is not good. It could be knocked out here. are relying on someone to crash in the finish and they don't ah so top 28 it is for today we will go into uh, spectating mode though so i am intrigued to see um, across here he seems very very fast so i want to see if we can uh, steal some of his lines for an eventual track of the day hunt later so let's have a look. He was late to quali, is what he said in chat. So let's see. Uh, let me turn on this. So let's see. Still gets air time. Let's do it. A very good start by the looks of things. But that line. I don't think it was ever going to work. So now let's see what he does here. Okay, it's just a super tight inside line there.
and he will set a 48-1. Yeah, it's, it's all about that jump. It's all about that jump. But uh, that is very interesting, actually. It's very interesting. Because I must have gotten that jump very well compared to what I thought uh, I did. So let's see. Do we have... We have Muck Duck in as a Norwegian. But he is indeed the only one left. So we will be cheering for Muck Duck. Although it seems like... Uh, I don't know if anyone is going to be able to... Uh, Get Mr. Across off the off the top step of the podium. But let's have a look here. Get all the gears. Without any big issues. Oh he does clip though, but he actually doesn't lose much speed from it. Switch the case to Ruiz in first. Does carry a lot of speed. But Salmingster, he has a lot of speed. He's doing well. He's actually got a tenth of a gap here. But let's see this jump though. Ah, uh, he doesn't get it as well. Baron gets it very well. He will maybe catch up. I don't think they will catch up, but they have a lot of speed. Actually, oh. <laughs> Nine thousand to the line, and Muckduck seems to be out. Yeah, yes, unfortunately out. So is Asox. Actually, so that's a lot of people. Well, it's two people that I thought was going to do a lot better. In. Fuck! Did I just say that was not? Two people that I thought was going to do a slight bit better, is what I meant to say. But, anyways, we continue. Across, still in. Captain Salmon, still in. Miku, still in. There's a lot of good players here. Case 2 as well. There's a lot of good players. Indeed, across with a good start. But he gets that air time. I don't know if there's a way to avoid that, but uh, he seems to be losing there every single time. It's a close fight here. When there's bestie, oh my god, the speed. He does get a bad line, so of course we'll have more speed as will Summingster. Oh, it's a tight top four here. Bestie will beat him out, and across will beat Case 2 as well to the line. Uh, Reginald out, Captain Salmon out this round. Wow, okay. That just proves we are getting down to uh, fine margins now. Only 7 seconds to be in. I mean, just drive consistently and you're in. That's essentially it. Unfortunately, today was not my day. As I feel like I should have driven it better. But uh, it is what it is. It happens from time to time. So now there is 15 players left in. That means it will be a two-player elimination for the next four rounds. So we will we see any upset people go out? I don't think so. But maybe. Of course, with a very nice start again, he's got a big gap. Uh, Gets a little bit less of an air time than he usually does here now. But this line he does there is not great. And Bestie will overtake him here. It's a great line. We'll probably have a bit of a gap here. Yep, it's a tenth gap. Guess that transition very well goes for a medium low jump. Oh, and of course clips. But he doesn't lose anything. But looks of things. Maybe a slight bit, but it's not much. See what time this is from best year. It's a good time for sure. 48 0, so very good time. And to. to Ratum. <laughs> Teratium is out and Viku is out. Swimmingster almost out actually. It's pretty close for him. Well, technically. One position, but time wise, it wasn't bad. Not long. So we move on to top. 13 now 
Getting closer to the finish here. Let's see, let's let's watch on board with Bead as he seems to be struggling with the start here. Isn't lost. There's no one screwing up the start other than maybe some gear problems. Oh bestie with the respawn. That's gonna be very tough, but Dayman has also screwed up. So that means one respawn and you could be in trouble. But everyone can save it now, theoretically, and be in. You really don't need to risk it. And Case do as well. Best he can be in here if he just don't doesn't mess anything up now. Was there another mistake there? Might have been another mistake. Ah, uh, doesn't look like it. But we will see Satel and Rotcax at Rot Cat Xbox will be out. Some difficult names in Trackmania, bro. They they all choose the most absurd names ever. Into top eleven we go. This will be the second, the penultimate round with two eliminations before we go into one. <laughs> oh, and someone else's clip. Who was that, I wonder? Oh, it was Bead, which is not too good for him because he will be lacking the speed across the entire map. But there's a cross and Reginald with the mistake here. I mean, it will probably be a straight 1v1 against them to on um, who goes out. And as long as Reginald don't make a mistake, it should... Damon has made a big mistake actually, he has no speed, but uh, it should be Reginald going out here, and it will not be, because Sordi has crashed somewhere else. Wow, there's a lot of PayPal's happening here. So we will be going into the final round of two eliminations. I don't know if... Uh, I don't know. I don't know what I don't know. That is the point of not knowing, I guess. We will see a cross, not with the greatest start he's ever had. But Case Stu will probably be out this round. Will we see someone else make a mistake? Or will it be a round where you go out due to pace, I wonder? Don't think we've had that so far. It's always been mistakes keeping people in. So far so good, but this jump we know is punishing and Soyminster will be out. There's no saving that, I don't think. Best year is on a great lap time here. And he sends and it's a 47-7. That's a very nice time. Wow, indeed. And we will see the two Germans go out in the same round. Meaning Germany is now officially out. Reginald and Schoemingster will take home 8th and 9th. So I see I still have my money on either across or bestie. As those two are the ones that are showing the greatest pace. For sure. So let's see, let's stay on board with the uh, best year. Cross with a good start again. A five flat. That's a good starting point. But a cross's line there is. It's very inferior to Bestie's line. Bestie's got it all figured out here. And there has been a mistake by Damien. Dayman, sorry. Bestie is ending it yet again. But I don't think this is as good of a lap time as last time. But this will be a very strong time yet again. 
a 43 8th checkpoint. We'll see him do a 48 1, and Damon will be out. Top 6 consisting of Berent, a bad, a bad PC gamer, a bad, uh, K Stu, Bead Baguette, a cross, and Bestie. It's a very strong top 7, top 6. So who will take it? Will we see one of the favorites making a mistake? I mean, I won't say it's unlikely, but uh, it's not extremely likely as Bestie's line here. It's not as cracked as it was. That is not good for him. But Bead is behind. Bead Baguette has gifted him a golden opportunity to get saved here. Although he is lagging pretty badly here. Ooh. Bead Baguette has more speed actually. But I don't think it'll be enough to catch him. Nah, it will not. Oh, bestie! Bestie clips the end. Ay ay ay, and he's out in six. Wow, all he had to do was safe it in, and he would have stayed in. But as we know, it's still not easy to save when you are amongst the fastest people in the world, as it's still pretty fast what you're doing. All right, top five then. I would say Across is now the favorite, but uh, anyone can really take it here. As it seems like it's still just survive the round and you're in. Okay, Stu with an interesting line here, but it's gonna pay off with a lot of exit speed. Across might be in trouble here, as he is in the red. But will he stay there for long? Cause a bad PC gamer. Is proving his name right by crushing but it is very unlucky but will someone make a mistake in the ending no is the correct answer and a bad PC gamer will be out proving himself wrong and right at the same time getting p5 in div 2 you're definitely not a bad PC gamer if you can do that. But he is out. And top four seems very strong. But there's a lot of mistakes happening. So all you got to do is drive somewhat fast to force other people into driving faster than you. And making a mistake. As a cross will be out this round. There will be no saving. There will be no nothing for a cross as he has given up as well. He hasn't DNF just yet, but he is not respawning or doing anything. Which means that the winner of Div 2 will be either B Baguette, K Stu, or Baron. Let's see what lap time this is. A 48 mid, maybe? Yeah, 48.5. As there is... Is that a double safe or is that a double mistake? I'm not sure. But here comes across. Who will not finish. <laughs> or will he? Second times the charm. And he finishes. With plus 20 seconds. And top 3... The podium is now secure, but who will take it? I will put my money on... I'll put it on Bead. Bead Baguette. So let's see here. Doesn't get the greatest of starts. But he tries to go more inside than Baron. Who... Oh, and there's a clip! Case through clips, and he respawns too early. Unless that's what he wanted to get rid of the clip, but that is not savable unless there's a massive mistake. Which I think these players will not do, as that mistake is still not even close to being enough. 
She still needs to make one more mistake, even though that is a big mistake. But you can afford to make that mistake. And he makes the jump, which means that the top two is Bede and a Baron. And I do wonder who will win. As the times they're driving is not anything crazy at all, but they have been the most consistent gamers. Not being lost is the only way to win a cup of the day. And these two players might not have the fastest times, but they have been the most consistent ones. So let's see then. Speed we get with a better start. Barando goes for... He does have a better line, so he will catch. He will, they will probably be equal. Yeah, they are about equal, but who has the better line here, though? It is speed, but just slightly. They carry the same amount of speed. Speed goes for the better line, but clips. Full clips. Barrand can save, but does he know? I think the answer is yes, he does know. And it's over. The winner of Div 2 will be Berend as he goes into the finish for a 48.75. GG. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoy these type of videos even though I am out of the cup. Uh, I will probably make uh, videos like this where even though I don't make it extremely far in, I will sit and commentate slash cost slash just chill really as long as i get into a good div and it's fun to watch so uh leave a comment below yet again still haven't gotten any if you want me to do uh edited vids or just leave them as is um and yeah thanks so much for watching and goodbye